Hanging out here with Skylar Gray. She is in the building. How are you? I'm good. First time the world was really introduced to Skylar Gray would have to have been at the Grammys, right? Yeah, pretty much. And that's the first time I met uh, Eminem was in the studio for that song. Are you nervous meeting him? Yeah. I mean, rattled. Be. <laughs> I know, I'd be super rattled. <laughs> I was totally intimidated. <laughs> Especially when the idea you're going there and you're supposed to be able to write a hit. So you're going there thinking like, I hope I can come up with something. Is that, you I feel any pressure? I actually went prepared with the song because I knew that once I got there, I'd be too scared to actually come up with something on the spot. Mm -hmm. Nice. So then Dr. Dre hears it like, this is perfect. Are you worried at all at that standpoint that you might not stay on the hook? Marshall actually said, no, we are not taking her voice off of the song. The really? day, that day in the studio. Mm when we made it, so and you were that like, was it. Under the table, you're like, yes. Yeah, that was like, yes. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> thank wicked. you. So you call him Marshall, you don't call him Eminem. Yeah, I, 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 get, I call him both. I call him both. A little bit of both. So the song's a huge success, it goes out for the Grammys, and now you start getting your own project ready. What was the idea for the album? The album took a while to make. Yeah. And I was still searching a little bit for what I wanted to sound like. Mm -hmm. As time went on and I, got happier mm -hmm. and I started making money and mm -hmm. music was going great mm -hmm. I everything became lighter hearted mm -hmm. you know makes naturally because everything <clears throat> I write reflects my my life so this song is a huge departure when you talk about you know being on the lighter side of things come on let me ride yeah how did this song come about I just wanted to do something stupid and fun with with Eminem mm -hmm. Did you guys come up with this together? Because it kind of feels like he's perfect for this song. I was playing on like pretty much everything that I had been working on. Mm -hmm. uh, every time I went to Detroit to work on something else, I'd be like, oh, by the way, here's what I'm working on oh, now. You're going to Detroit a lot? And uh, well, I did the Slaughterhouse stuff that was pretty recent. But anyway, then he showed interest in executive producing my album. Mm -hmm. I was gonna which, I was, is, which is amazing. It's incredible. What's it like to have someone like that overseeing your work? It's gotta oh, be. Oh, it's incredible. Because here's the thing: like, it, it gets really hard mm -hmm. when you're making an album to um, keep perspective. You know, it's good to have somebody there that you can trust, like helping mm -hmm. you, giving you feedback. You know. How would you describe him in the studio? Every time he says something, I'm like, yeah, I should have thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> One of those, you're like, like oh. <laughs> No, no, he's really smart and, and just extremely talented, well-rounded musically. Mm -hmm. Not just rapper-wise, but like, he mixes songs. Oh, really? Yeah, he's like, real legit. That's it's crazy, awesome. I didn't know that. This song is super sarcastic and has, it's, it's, what, is there a social commentary involved in this song? Yeah, so, um, the song is about sex. <laughs> But it's like so over the top <laughs> about sex. Yeah. Can you really be serious? Like, can you really take it seriously? Mm -hmm. It's a catchy song. <laughs> it's a catchy song. No matter if you hate it or love it, <laughs> it gets stuck in your head. It does get stuck you know? in your head. And that's just, that's all I wanted to do with the song. And then hopefully people will buy the album and see in context it makes sense. And there's like so much more to me than this song. The Queen sample's dope. M did that one day, just like. Really? That's yeah, pretty neat. That's him singing it. Is this one of these things where you call your parents, you're like, Mom, I just want to prepare you. I got a single coming out, and I'm talking about a lot of stuff. I didn't prepare anybody, <laughs> no? and my parents hate it. What about when they saw the album artwork? They must have been like, what is this? Oh, my sexy pose? Yeah, yeah, your sexy, your sexy you'll, pose. You'll probably never see me like that again. <laughs> it's a song about sex, for God's sake. Of course. You're going to put a picture of me looking sexy on the cover. Of course. Why not? Do they see the picture? Yeah. Yeah? What were their thoughts? I got an email from him, though. And the subject, <laughs> it was it was a subject and yeah. no email body. And all the subject said was, I'm not very proud of that new song. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense that you and Eminem get along so well. Do you do you relate to him at all? Do you, do you find... I mean, yeah. I, I think probably that's why we work together. Mm -hmm. You guys, there's a lot of rumors about you guys. There's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of rumors no, no, about, no, your no, no, no. <laughs> about your chemistry about your chemistry because there's so much chemistry in the no, studio. No, it's all about the music, man. It's all about the all music. All about the music. Are we gonna be replaying this interview a year from now, saying 
La am I gonna be sitting here saying, Skylar, you could have told me a year ago because you guys are gonna be in a relationship a year later? No, Is that gonna happen? I swear. Anyway, that doesn't matter. You guys are making good music right now, right? That's that's what that's it is. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. That's what it's about for me. So. So when does the album come out? Uh, the album comes out in the spring. Yep. And it's called Don't Look Down. Yep. Are you excited? Are you a little nervous for it to come out? I'm really excited because I'm so proud of it. Like mm -hmm. this is the first time I feel like I'm putting out a body of work where I'm like. Yes, I can't wait for everybody to hear this. I'm not nervous about it at all. I'm just excited. Because you put your heart and soul into it. Yeah. Good stuff. I look forward to hearing it. You have to come back when it comes out. Sounds good. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you.